one zero jd here with the xplay fans channel and this is hive jump a side scrolling shooter kind of game with um a uh, very mild progression uh the story is essentially hey these bug things have landed on a planet at least it's so far that i'm in have landed on uh, a human populated planet and are encroaching on the humans and it's essentially starship troopers if you've ever seen that movie and you've got to fight them off kill them go into their hives and essentially go down through the levels and kill bugs as you go collect goop which you use as upgrades and all that kind of fun stuff so let's go i've already made a profile uh, there's a codex, which is always fun in these kind of games. It lists creatures you've encountered. It has, like, flavor text and all that kind of other stuff. Uh, what you might notice in this game, keep an eye out for video game references, anime references, and movie references. There are, is a ton of them. Uh, you get a randomly named character, and uh, one of them was called Sergeant Hawkeye, which I believe is Sergeant Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. So um, there are different... Uh, Modes, campaign, normal story, blah, blah, blah. Arcade is essentially you just kind of go and go through a hive and fight it, kill it, and everything like that. Uh, so far, which is interesting, is the goop and upgrades I kept from the campaign transferred over to this mode. And the goop that I got from this mode transferred over to the campaign. So if you're ever having issues, coming to this mode seems to be a good way to farm and stuff. Challenges are essentially what they are. Get a clean run, speed run, a hardcore run, an endless run, see how far you can go. Nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and go. But uh, I'm going to explain some of these mechanics. And I might actually just show you some of the uh, uh, arcade stuff. So this is where I kind of started. I had these three nodes here. And I went here and I took over this node. And then this node was a high, which I then attacked and took over. And then there's this also kind of mo thing of like reinforcement and uh, stuff like that. So I click here. I can add more troops. I can reinforce it with a mecha. But so far, it's been pretty fine. We're not going to go to the main menu. Oh, I accidentally reinforced it. Oh, well. We're going to go in and uh, let the dudes take their turn. These guys will try to fight them off in this little cutscene. Wasn't too hard. And then they'll attack the other one. Pew, 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 pew. And they'll scream random stuff like it's a trap and blah, blah, blah. So now I'm gonna click on this guy. So I have these options. I can scan it, which I've already done to get like information, like the strength of it, the depth. I don't know what queen means. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that at the end of this area, there'll be a queen and in harder difficulty, there'll be more queens, essentially like alien or like maybe the brain bug from uh, whatever. I have not gotten psionic sweep yet, but I do have a bombard hive, which takes this down, the strength of the hive down. I'm gonna do that. So now it's very weak. It only has three levels, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to jump into the hive. So this game has local co-op. It has not been one of those games that you need to have local co-op. I have been fully able to get through what I've been playing through relatively easy. You do die, but you carry a pack backpack that lets you respawn, so as long as that backpack survives, you'll be fine. So, of course, here you just pick your character, insignia, and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and switch it to... Oh, there's a QR symbol. I wonder if that leads anywhere. So one of their uh, one of the names for the robot character on the bottom there was a binary code, which I translated and it just said FB. So let's go with uh, the human character. We're gonna lock down our selection, and then I get to pick my equipment. I've actually unlocked uh, most of the stuff, but I've really been liking the normal basic rifle. I've got these grenades. One's a fiery pinwheel, and there's like healing cloud, fuse grenades, stuff like that. This one explodes into multiple grenades, and then they get your little utility different like modifiers and stuff like that. I won't show them all off. I've liked the heal regeneration uh, fields, mostly because a lot of the enemy, a lot of the bosses use projectiles. And if you drop that field, it actually blocks projectiles. And of course it heals you and it recharges. So, hey, while dying doesn't really mean much, uh, staying alive longer is the best. So this is how it starts. You pop in, you drop down, and then you go. All right. So on the upper left, you can see my little uh, skull icon indicating that's me. Below that, that red is the health. Below that is my grenades. Next to that is my weapon heat. Next to that is my uh, utility recharge rate. And below that is how much goop I have and how much goop I've gained is next to it. If I hit B, I can actually drop my little backpack. And that's where I respawn off of. And uh, if that gets destroyed, uh, it's game over. And then we go. 
I'm shooting with the right stick. I can throw grenades with the right bumper. I believe I deploy my utility with the left bumper and then I can jump with the uh, left trigger. So let's go. And then this is it. You would go through, go through these levels. There's a small uh, break area at the end of each area and that's about all the rest you get. So I now can heal and keep going. And of course, I can't let my weapon overheat because terrible things will happen. And then I recover. I uh, use my, uh, got to let my um, weapon uh, cool down. So far, I have not been able to beat any of these without dying once. I've also upgraded my weapon so I can actually blow up rocks. And everything, like, all your weapons can be upgraded. Get all this goop. Uh, if you do fail, you actually keep your goop. So if you're having issues, you can also go do that. And like I said, the arcade mode seems to carry everything over, which is very nice of them. Uh, the stuff I showed you, I believe, is the limit of the what is in the store that you can buy for upgrades and stuff because there's an achievement for getting everything, like all the bombs and all that stuff, and I've actually unlocked it. So that it is a little bit of a small collection. So it does kind of make me wonder if later on that the uh, stuff will get a little more difficult by myself. I just hope it doesn't kind of force me into playing with other people because I am without friends nearby who would be able to play with me. Ah, uh, ooh. Hey, buddy. Uh, there is no fall damage, but you can fall into stuff and murder yourself. Oh, look at this guy hiding. Uh, as you go through the levels, once in a while, you'll encounter these uh, these doors that kind of look... Uh, real uh weird and out of place because you're like in bug caves but there's like these clearly metal mechanical doors and stuff and if you go through them uh there's like a little like challenge stage where you can uh get like a quote-unquote artifact but more often than not it's stuff like hey this is a folding chair and it prevents like instant death kind of stuff uh my favorite is one that actually reduces my cooldown of my uh or reduces the uh heat use it uh, the heat of my weapon there's another one that reduces the utility cooldown, which is always fun. These levels are actually a little bit long. They take about maybe about about anywhere from 10 to 17 minutes that I've seen. And at the end, every three levels, there is a uh, boss. And that, uh, of course, when you blow up, kill that boss, he explode into one wonderful, wonderful goop pile. Keep going through here. Uh, there are fake walls. Keep moving. But I've enjoyed what I've played of this game so far. Uh, the early game is weird because you you don't really have much. So you're dying and just kind of like throwing your body against a wall. Also like that these guys look like fleas. Also their excuse for the, uh, the reason these uh, chests exist down here is like, oh, no, people aren't bringing them. The, the, bu the uh, bugs are essentially just just like bringing down them down here because we don't know why. There are some allusions to like, hey, of course, like Starship Trooper, there is something smart behind all this. All right, that's the end of this level. We're gonna go a little bit to the left to see what's up. That's why I like this. Uh... There it is. Moving. Uh, okay. That just means that there's going to be, like, a high respawn rate. There's one of those doors. Uh, I've had one or two really weird bugs where I've actually clipped through a gr the ground or something like that has happened. And it's actually caused me to die before. And uh, then caused damage to my, uh, backpack, which is really annoying. Go through here. So in here, uh, it looks like... Still on my jump pack, so this won't be too... Oh, that's what it was. So, once you fail there, you are dead. Oh, look, at see, like, on the upper left, Dizzy. That's a reference to, uh... Uh, Starship Troopers. And as you can see in the upper left, uh, I died, but there was a countdown. And I, since I, my backpack survived, it just called another Marine in. And, of course, we do have the normal oorah at the beginning of the game. Uh, the purple goo actually heals you. So if that you were wondering how you get health back before you get this utility, that is how exactly you do it. We'll go a little bit longer and then I will let you all go. 
I might I might hurry to the boss and show him off for you. And of course, yeah, you have a jump jet because why not? You unlock my equipment and off we go. Go. I believe these are semi randomly generated because I've died in one before and when I came back the next time the end boss was uh, different but it's, it seems like the random generation of there are these set uh, pieces not that it's like everything is like oh this is fully random because the issue with randomly generated stuff like that even though like hey that might be cool you will at some point if it's fully 100% randomly generated get to a point where the random generator generator will kind of like mess you, uh, screw you over and have just like no there's just walls everywhere and no one wants that even if it's a once because of course that would be the one time that you have like the perfect run also they have uh dots on their butt which is of course their weak points but i played a few hours of this and it's kept my interest fairly nicely so if you have like friends who'd be into this It'd be a great game to invest in. And it's pro I, want, I don't know if it scales difficulty, but that also have a fun, maybe drinking game of spot the reference or every time you die. Uh. Ooh, it's so, okay, these are spikes. So as long as I don't like fall on them, I'm usually fine. And the a general way for this game is that you're just going down. Keep going. Let's go. Oh, dead. So if I at least protect this thing, See how like I'm taking a beating, but if I, now I'm back. Yeah, there we go. So that's that. That is how you survive. God, there's a lot of guys. Oh, dead again. So that's usually how it's been. Make some progress. Get super murdered. I don't know if you see my grenade. I'll throw it again. It's a really good grenade. Uh, so far, the boss thing has been essentially, uh, they have a specific point you shoot, shoot that point, and victory will come to you. Damn. I do like you can move the transmitter though. Uh, usually, rule of thumb, if you get lost, you're usually essentially just like trying to find the best way to go down. Or you essentially just follow where uh, death is coming from. Uh, like I said before, uh, projectiles do not come through this shield. No, oh, my thing's overheated. All right, cool. We'll go through here. I'll show off the boss, and then I will wrap this up. All right, so this is a fun guy. So he pops up. I've been throwing grenades at him. And you just kind of go. Oop. He also has a kind of lava shield around him, but it usually doesn't do too much. And of course, grenades just, even though he's a fire monster, grenades seem to really mess this dude up. And usually the uh, they will also spawn in uh, side little baddies. I, I fought this guy many times, so it's... I might be able to beat him without dying. All right, so he's now summoning these guys in, which is a good little thing because they have health for me. I don't want that. Oh, he's over here now. So, like, and they just kind of pop in, and then you, you kill and murder them off. And that's the same thing that they all do. They all summon guys. All right, so now I'm kind of safe because I have my little happy shield. And I have to keep jumping because this platform was safe. Uh, 
Uh, they do have some bosses that uh, if you don't damage them fast enough, they will actually start to get health back. Which I guess is to prevent you from kind of like cheaping it out. He's almost dead. The most limiting factor of this game so far is like been how, uh, ooh, there he is, my, uh, the overheating of my weapon. And one time I got like a great anti overheat item and it was, like, the difference was amazing. I loved it. And that is it. I died though. It's fine. Nothing can hurt me. And of course, lovely, lovely, massive amounts of goop. Oh, got it. And then it beams you out and then the level ends. But that's Hive Jump. But uh, I've enjoyed this game a lot. See, it's about 11 minutes for that level. And then it tallies you at the end, gives you some extra group, and then it like, pats you on the back and says, hey, guess what? Do that again. So now a new thing has opened up. I'm gonna scan it. It's a weak hive. I'm gonna blow it up. And that might be the last one for that area. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for joining me. This was Hive Jump. I am Zero JD. This was the XBA Fans channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. I'll try to get back to you and share these videos. It helps us a lot. Thank you and have a nice day.